today I'm back out here in Lithia. I sent my daughter out here yesterday to inspect this property. She said she couldn't do it. She walked through it a little bit, but she said she didn't want to do it because the grass was too high and there was too many grasshoppers and insects. So she came back, but she did take some photos. So I came out here, I told her I'd come out here and look at it myself. And I have to admit, it is kind of bad. The grass is real high. Um, it's real bad. Actually, this about four or five acre property. I'm not for sure. Um, it's a house in the back that belongs to this property. I'm not for sure, but I'm gonna show y'all. Um, this is the main residence that I'm in front of now. If you can see in the back, that's the main residence. And if you see in the back behind me, it's a shed and you see that grass? Let me see, let me give you a view. I just drove through there and it's a house in the back. Way in the back. But anyway, I'm gonna give y'all a good view of everything that's out here. Well, look what I done got myself into today. We out here in Lithia, Pinecrest, and this is a property, this is a foreclosure. I had to drive back here in my truck. I hope I don't get stuck. But I'm just gonna give you a view. Oh, wow. oh what we may be looking at in the near future. I'm gonna say this property is probably about five acres, maybe more, and it's overgrown. I don't want to even drive my truck in here. It may be a septic tank or something like that, and I don't want to roll over with my truck. So, but this is ridiculous. That's, I don't even know if that house go to this property. So, address is for a house up here. So I'm gonna turn around and give y'all a view of this property. And um, hopefully we win this this job and um, you'll see the, you know, it's the beginning and you'll see the finished product once we complete it. Um, I, I don't know what to say, but this is a, this is a big project. Okay, I'm back in the front. Uh, this is the main residence. Like I said, the other house is behind this shed. I don't know if it go to this property or not. You see? So, but this, to, I will consider this the backyard. Maybe the proper line stops here. I'm not for sure. But um, it's a lot. Like I said, it's the back. Someone's been mowing this around this part here, but it's just the back part of it. And I'm gonna walk around. I need to look out for snakes and shit. You know, I just seen a big spot on my truck. Okay, you got all of this. It's a chicken coop over here in the corner. I want to drive over there. I don't want, really want to walk over there because I know it's something in all that grass. And I know I'm in a rural area, so you may have rattlesnakes, um, mainly rattlesnakes. The black snakes, not worry about, but it's the rattlesnakes. I know it may be some rattlesnakes in here because the tall grass, you're going to have rabbits, you're going to have rats and mice and other little small mammals, rattlesnakes in there. Um, so I may have to drive the truck over here. I think my daughter came out here yesterday. I think she tried to drive over there, but I don't want to get stuck, man. So that may be a no-no, because -no, maybe call them AAA, modified steps or someone like that. All right, so as you can see, um, that's the road up there. And the property, I believe all this belongs to the property. It's a well right there, so that's an indicator for something, water. This house is the main house. Maybe this second well is for the house in the back. I'm not for sure. Um, hopefully one of the neighbors could have came over here and gave me some direction. Sometime they'll come over and, you know, tell you a little something about the property. Most of them be nice, majority of the time, because they want to see these properties get cleaned up because it, it enhanced theirs. But look, look at theirs kind of maintained, but look what's in that door. So, 
But anyway, I just came from back there. I already shot a little video earlier, so you'll see that part. I'm not gonna walk back there again, but you can see all this. Those trees and etc. I drove my truck back closer to the road, and it's a chicken coop over there, and I need to go check it out. Let me give you a glimpse. Okay, I'm back closer to the road, and um, it's a chicken coop over there. I want to run over there and check it out, man, but I know it's some damn snakes. Man. At least I can video it. So I'm going to take my chance walk through here. See, I'm trying to find me a path or something with something or somebody will walk. Something right here is a box, electrical box. Okay, you still see some more of the property. Look at some pipes. pipes go to. Maybe this is the septic tank here. Damn some, some pipes. Okay, I'm, I'm getting closer. Let's see. It's all type of stuff in here. Okay. We made it. So this how far see where my truck at? Okay. Here's the chicken coop. Gonna probably want this tore down. What this made out of metal. So let me take a few pictures of this. Okay, I'm making my way back to the truck. I thought that was a damn bell over there. That's long. So hopefully we get this project. And y'all will see the beginning to the end. But I'm at another property now. I just came from Lithia. That's about an hour away. Now I'm over here in Odessa. Nice neighborhood, as you can see. Um, some of the houses, I'm gonna give you a better view once I. Okay, I'm um, I'm over here in Odessa. I just came from Lithia, it's about an hour away. So I went to Lithia first, which is on the east side of Hillsborough County. And now I, I went from there, the southeast actually. And I came from there all the way over here to the northwest end of Hillsborough County. Um, I'm at a house, nice neighborhood. They got some HOA issues. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the property so you can see the difference um, from one to the next. Okay, as you can see, this is the neighborhood. Nice neighborhood. Nice lawn right there. Okay, but this is the house that we are looking at. As you can see, the yard has not been maintained. It has been neglected. Um, Grass is high. Everything just hasn't been allowed to grow over. There's a lot of vines on these hedges. This stuff needs to come off. Hope I got enough um, battery life to give you a full tour of this property. All right, you see these hedges? You need to trim these down. You can put a bid in for that. That's extra. It's really not what it is. You got these right here that's good. This property, you can tell they're not being maintained. This property is maintained very well. You can compare the neighbors and the foreclosed property. Um, the pool, someone came and drained the pool. And you got this dead palm tree. Probably bid to take that down. That tree need to be trimmed up. Those viburnums haven't been allowed to grow over the AC unit. They need to become cut down. These palm trees need to be trimmed. This probably needs to be removed. See how the, how the grass is. All right. 
like I said, I'm moving kind of quick because I don't know if this battery going down, y'all. So here we go. Same thing on this side. Like I said, those palm trees, the grass is pretty high. All right. Same thing. They've been allowed to grow too tall. The power's on. I need to check and see if the motor's on. But it's not on. I need to check and see if it's cut off on the road. That way I can cut it back on. Like I say, this is an emergency. They say they got some HOA issues, and a lot of times they get fined per day if they don't take care of these issues right away. Um, give you a quick tour of the inside. This can get power washed. It's black. Big old fly beds. Don't know if they want to do mulch or try and save these rocks. See, all that can get pressure washed. All right, let's go inside. Okay, we're in the inside. All right, let's go to the right. This is the master bedroom. As you can see, roof is leaking. That is the master bathroom. Talk a little bit for a little privacy. All right. Got your sliding glass doors, leads out to the patio. Guess who's be the what, left living room, family room, den, whatever you want to call it. I guess this would be the family. You know, here go the kitchen. Stove and refrigerator need to be removed. We got a little mold over there. Roof is leaking. All right, give you a quick little view. This is the, I guess, family room. Got the Fireplace, carpet needs to be removed. You got another bathroom over here, full. You got a bedroom here, another bedroom here. Once again, you got access to the pool. It's another like restroom right here. Um, what's over here? Okay, another bedroom, another bath. Another bedroom. So I think it's like five bedrooms. This is the laundry room, the garage. Got a little debris in here. So this is what it looks like in another foreclosure. You got some roof tiles over there. Um, so like I say, these houses, you, you bid on them per cubic yard, how clean it is, how dirty it is, whatever. Once you learn the business, you make your own prices up. All right, just seen the inside of this house. Probably take us about a day to do it and we'll be in and out of here. But hopefully that information, you know, you can use it to be helpful. Anyone else, lock this door. Can't let y'all see the lock box go. All right, so I'm getting ready to head up out of here. So we're about to go. Um, and I hope y'all can see the beginning of this to the end of the project. We should get this one because there's an emergency. They got to get it done like ASAP. They want us to go ahead and get these numbers in to them today so they can go ahead and get this started on like ASAP. This may take precedence of any other job that I may have lined up already.